Hey guys, it's Chris and Faith and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. So this is the night before I get my IUD put in and I actually never even thought about vlogging this but I just felt like vlogging today um, and then I was like wait I'm literally getting my IUD tomorrow. That's what this vlog should be about and I kind of have like a mini little story time that we'll get into later but for now I'm gonna take a shower because I really need to shower. For the last couple of days, we've been helping our family friend. They're actually my sister's godmother, um, and her daughter was having a quinceanera. We were like literally up all night, five in the morning, decorating, doing things. I was a sweaty mess for like two days, but everything came out so cute. I'll literally show you one of the arches that I did for her entrance. So cute. So needless to say, this shower is very needed. It's just gonna make me feel so much better for tomorrow because I'm literally gonna be spreading the lips and spreading the cheeks. I don't know. I'll see y'all after my shower. I know you feel like you want me, and I guess in a way you do. If I look like an egg right now, it's because I got really tired of blow drying my hair. I don't know, but I was like, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna stop doing that because it's annoying me. I'm sure I've showed all of the products that I use before on these videos. I tend to wash my face a lot on this channel. I don't know why, but while I clean my face, I did want to kind of tell y'all like a little bit of a story time. I've been loving gua showing my face. I don't know if it's anybody else, but I just like love the act. It makes me feel like I'm doing something for myself. Even if it like didn't work, I really like the act of it. Anyways, I don't wanna stall too much. Let's get into the story time. Two days ago, I went to the doctor and I was so confused because I had an unexpected appointment. And I was like, you know what? I just got on like 50 different medications. So I think it's like the checkup that you get after like you start a bunch of medications. They basically just test you and see how it's working, stuff like that. So I was like, okay, let's just go. They're probably gonna weigh me, see if my thyroid is doing better, this, this, and that, you know? I'm sitting there <laughs> and I walk in and it's like set up for something. And I'm like, hmm, like a little weird, like maybe somebody just used this room before me. I don't know, like maybe they just didn't clean it up. <laughs> and the girl is like, Okay, so you're here for a pap smear and to get your IUD. I'm like, I am? <laughs> and like, I had told them that I wanted to do this appointment, but I thought it was gonna be way later, like way later. I don't know why, like maybe I just got like my dates mi mixed up. I didn't even know that I was gonna have to literally show them my cooch. Luckily though, like, I always anticipate someone being really close to me, so I always shower before a doctor's appointment, so that was good. But basically, I'm like, okay, I guess this is what we're gonna do today. <laughs> so the girl is like, everything's ready, um, you can get naked. And I was like, so awkward, cause I just like wasn't ready to be doing all that. Anyway, so I'm like scared because I've never gotten like a pap smear or like had anyone down there in general That's like a doctor. I don't know like I, I've never had anyone be like so intensely like this is my cooch You're my cooch and they're like and it's extra awkward because I've known my doctor like my entire life um, So yeah, I get the pap smear and like everything's going great. It doesn't hurt It honestly was way better than I anticipated it to be like it was easy um i just have to say if you're like wondering like you're literally like i want to watch this video because i'm scared to show a doctor like my everything they see stuff like that all the time um and then if you're also here for like a what does a pap smear uh, what does a pap smear feel like they literally just insert this thing in you open you up literally it makes that noise um and then they get like this thing and they scrape the inside of you and it doesn't hurt like scrape is such an aggressive work 
when they described it to me and they said they were gonna like scrape on my wall it sounded so painful but it was more like ticklish in a weird way anyways though it did not hurt it was great it was fun it was a vibe so then i was like i don't know if i can get my iud because i'm not on my period and ideally when you're getting an iud you want to be on your period because your uterus is kind of lower and it's a little more open and i've never had babies so my whole of my <laughs> I can't. So my hole is kind of more like sensitive and smaller. My uterus hole. So then she's like, we could definitely try it. Like, let's get in there and let's do the damn thing. My legs are open. Three women are in the room. I'm like, oh my gosh, my heart is palpitating. Um, and they are like, okay, we're going to start doing the IUD. And if you want to know, I'm getting a copper IUD. It's the only IUD that is non-hormonal. And I've heard a lot of good things and I've heard a lot of bad things. Um, but that's kind of just the birth control world. You have to try it yourself. And then you figure out whether your life is crumbling or whether it's like, okay, <laughs> that's like literally being a woman. I, it sucks. I'm going to talk to y'all like y'all are somebody who does not know anything about IUDs. So... The first thing that they need to do is they have this like measuring tool and it has like i think it has like centimeters um and they stick it this is like literally my uterus they stick it in you to see how many centimeters you are deep in there if you want to know i'm seven <laughs> the thing that i was scared about was they have this tool and for you to have anything like inserted into you know your uterus they have to stab into it with these two metal things. I'll literally show a picture of it somewhere here or the whole screen. I don't know. They literally stab the uterus so that it, they can hold it and then they stick that thing in there. So <laughs> needless to say, I was terrified. Um, but the stabbing actually wasn't that bad. That happened. She was like, oh shoot, I have to like do it again. So she had to stab me twice. And now at this point, she already inserted the thing in my uterus and now she's going to insert the IUD. She's trying. She is really trying to get in there. Um, and the moral of the story is she couldn't get it in my uterus. She said, you have a very sensitive uterus. Basically, she just told me we're gonna have to do this again when you start your period. I started my period the next day, which was yesterday. And so I called her today and I have an appointment tomorrow and we're gonna try again. And I'm gonna take out to that appointment um, because like, why not? Why not make this a whole video? <laughs> so I am just like a little intimidated. I also watched a bunch of videos that were scary. I sh you should never do that. <laughs> you should never do that when you're looking at birth control because you're always gonna find bad reviews. Would an average person make a video about something that's going good? No, they're only gonna make videos about if they have like a bad experience with something. So that's what I'm telling myself. And I really hope that the IUD works for me. I have to say though that I am on the patch right now and the patch has worked really good for me. There's only one patch in the US I think right now. So y'all can just look up what that is. I'll put a picture right here. So if the IUD doesn't work, I can always go back to the patch. I just really wanted to do the IUD because it literally lasts 10 years and I don't really want to have kids until I'm like closer to my 30s, which is in like literally 10 years. And my insurance is about to go out if I'm being honest. So I'm like, I need to get this done. More of the story, I'm terrified for tomorrow because I'm gonna have to get stabbed for the third time, which like it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna feel like. The one thing that was literally helping me was just telling myself like women do this all the time and I'm a strong woman so I can do it too. I will see y'all in the morning when I go to my actual appointments and get my IUD. Good morning. It is the next day um, and I'm about to go inside and I'm like a little scared so I don't know. Wish me good luck. No, because I'm back from getting my IUD. I didn't film, like, anything because 
I was absolutely fucking dying, bro. I can't, I can't even get into this right now because I'm still like in so much pain. I'm going to try to take a nap. And then after that, I'll tell you how it went because I just, I can't even talk right now. Like that's how much pain I'm in. Uh, just can't do it right now. I literally don't care if I look like shit right now, bro. <sighs> so I have to update you. So... This is the day after I got my IUD. I can't even like talk right now because I'm still in so much pain. I didn't really like prepare myself too much. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna be in pain. I don't wanna think about it too much until I'm literally there. So when they were actually starting to do the procedure, I realized that like everything hurt 10 times more. The clamping hurt 10 times more. The them trying to measure my uterus hurt like 10 times more and so I was like really freaked out and I didn't have like anyone there to hold my hand I know that like that sounds stupid but I'm just that type of person like I need support <laughs> oh my god I'm so sorry I'm in so much pain right now oh my god okay but as soon as they're starting to actually insert like the actual IUD they were pushing it hurt already and then it like broke through, I don't know, the fucking wall or whatever. And it finally went inside. When I tell you that that was the worst pain of my life. It hurt so bad. And I could feel myself like getting flushed. Like, I don't know. Like I could feel myself being like, damn. Like everything is going too fast. It's freaking me out. I feel like I'm like literally going to pass out. So finally they do it. And I'm like, okay, is it in? And I'm thinking, like, in my head, like, if it's not in, I'm gonna fuck, freak the fuck out. Um, anyway, so she's like, yeah, we're just gonna pull it out now. So they begin to pull it out. And I'm telling you, I've never experienced something more painful in my entire life. Like, it was so painful. It was so painful. I don't know. So at that point, I'm like, oh, I just need to, like, get off this chair. Like, I just, I just need to go home. I need to lay down. Um, and I'm already kind of freaking out because I have to like drive myself home. So then they're like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna leave and we're gonna go get some, like, the paper for you or something like that. I don't know. Sorry. So much pain. I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I feel myself like wanting to pass out. So I just like lay on the chair and then they come in and I had told them like, oh, I feel like I might pass out. And they were like, yeah, you're like really pale and so they're like do you need water and i'm like yes i do they get me water i'm still in pain i'm literally i'm fucking praying i'm like if you get me through this i'm like please i'm like so shocked at how much that hurt like i knew it was gonna hurt but it didn't hurt like the first time that they tried it like the stabbing wasn't that bad the checking how deep my thing was wasn't that bad come to find out that when you're on your period your pain tolerance is worse so that like explains everything honestly this is again why i can't stress enough the world hates women like why are we not put to sleep during this procedure i just will never understand i cannot drive home i call my mom she's like i'm gonna have one of our cousins go pick you up i get picked up and i come home it was relentless. I could not film. Like, I literally could not film. And I was taking medicine. I was taking ibuprofen because that's what they told me to take. In the morning today, I had to go to the heart doctor. And so I did that. And in the morning, I was feeling like, okay. I was having, like, a little bit of cramps. But it wasn't bad. And then I came home and I was like, I'm going to take a fat nap. Took a fat nap. Woke up. I'm in so much pain. Like, literally, I am dying i don't know i just took another ibuprofen but bro ow that was not a good position i just want it to be over the thought of anything near that area makes me want to cry like i this is borderline traumatizing i don't want this to like scare someone but like seriously if anybody sees this anybody that has any power you need to figure out how to get women sedated or something during this procedure like somebody needs to figure out how to put us to sleep it is horrendous it's horrible like i have a checkup in a week 
and I don't want to go because I don't even want to be like touched down there like uh I don't know at this point I'm kind of regretting it because I'm like damn I have to take this shit out of me like it really has to come out of me I'm um no like I'm sorry it's gonna have to stay up there no I also realized throughout this whole process I don't think I want children it's over like they can no I don't think I want children maybe like after this i'll be like oh it was worth it but just not right now i don't know i'm just thinking of all the worst right now and i'm thinking about like having to get it taken out and not being like literally put to sleep i could literally cry because that's how like anxious i am like oof this is so dramatic <laughs> i just want the pain to be over I want my body to respond really well to it so I don't have to take it out for the next 10 years. And yeah, I seriously hate being a woman. Like, life would be so much more simple if I just had a dick. So it's officially been a week since I got my IUD. Um, I did cramp for like five days. Five brutal days, honestly. I did want to tell you what I've been going through. So, this might be TMI, but honestly, you're watching a video about me putting something in my vagina. So, hopefully you're past that point. Okay, so I was bleeding a little bit after I got it done. But I think that was just because they were, like, literally stabbing me and stuff like that. Um, and I was, like, getting off of my period. So, I was just kind of spotting a little bit. And then I stopped bleeding for, like, two or three days, I want to say. And then, all of a sudden, I started bleeding again. And I know that with this IUD, you tend to have periods more often. So, maybe it's, like, that or something. Um, but I don't know. They're about to open me up again today. I'd, like, honestly just don't want anybody to touch that area. But they have to open me up to see if the IUD is looking good. Honestly, if it's not... I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's staying in there. I can't take it out. Fingers crossed, we only hear good things today. Anyways, I'm at the doctor right now. My appointment is in literally five minutes, so I will see y'all after an update on what happens. Update, um, everything went well. It doesn't look like my body is expelling it. The strings were where they were supposed to be. This is making me feel a lot better, um, but I will see y'all after probably like a month. Hey guys, it's been a month, so a lot of updates some that i didn't anticipate but are a thing y'all remember earlier in the video when i was talking about things that are tmi and how you shouldn't be here if you're not down for that well this is the moment that if you don't like things are that are very tmi you need to get the fuck out so first of all i was kind of awkward to mention this earlier in the video but after i got my iud i was having so much discharge <laughs> like an ungodly amount of discharge every day and it was so slimy um and sometimes it had blood in it sometimes it didn't and honestly that's still kind of going on to this day just not as bad as like the earlier days I did want to talk about the whole period part because I didn't want to update y'all until I actually had a period. So to give a little backstory on like me and my period and our journey together, um, I don't get proper periods. I Before hormones, I was getting like two periods in a row and then I'd go like seven months without a period. So I was very confused as to if I would even get a period this month because I'm getting off of hormones and kind of how this will be because I really, I honestly do not know whether I will be getting consistent periods or not. So on the dot when I was supposed to be getting my period, I did end up bleeding such a tiny tiny amount and i was kind of confused because the first thing they tell you that will happen if you get a copper iud is that you will have horrible horrible cramps and you will be bleeding hella i had zero cramps and this whole week i have been bleeding literally the tiniest amount where i don't even need to use a pad like my my lips will keep the blood in like it's not even enough to where i need a liner that's how little i've been bleeding um 
and yeah i don't know if this is like a proper period or if this is just like part of like the discharge thing but yeah this is my first month i literally don't even know if i should track it because i don't know if i could consider it a period yeah that's that's my period so far and that's my update honestly other than that not many changes i will update y'all in about six months to a year yeah <laughs> okay thank you for watching please comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video oh okay bye bye today will be yesterday tomorrow will be today it's terrifying when you think about it but everything we did today and all the lists you've made places you've been things you've touched are just a memory Don't let these moments just slip away